All right, what's going on guys? Wow, it's hot out today. What is it? 35. Oh, that's a kitten. 39. 31 indoors. It's hot. Super hot. But I want to go show you my root cellar, all right? And I want to see what kind of temps are down there. I've kind of been neglecting it a bit. I need to work on it a bit, put a couple extra supports in it and such. But yeah, the homestead's looking pretty good, Cash. What's up, bro? Chicks are all happy. Two trout have died. Didn't make it. So that strong heat's kind of affecting the trout, I think, unfortunately. So today is the 11th. Went into Saskatoon to do some work today. But this morning when I was leaving, I looked out, another swarm of bees. We hit the five swarm mark. So that's like 2,500 bucks in bees this year. So I'm pumped up about that. I came home, oh, it's hot. Like I knew I had to get working with them, but check it out. These are the first four original swarms here, but check out this one. They're all starting to work their way into this hive. So pumped up about that. I hope you're having a great day as well. So this is the root cellar here, boom. Has a 10 foot hallway that goes into this mound of dirt. Walk around it, have an apple tree. I should probably get some more trees on it, but I'm not sure if I wanna keep it yet. I might get rid of it. That's the, that's the vent, the little solar panel, automatic light turns on when you open up the door. Okay, so this is the entry. So let's get in there. So you flip it open and then there's a little hop down. Okay. We're officially underground. Just no, nothing over top of this yet. Check this out. So you come down this hallway, kind of comes down here on an angle. So you're walking into the earth. Then the light turns on, boom. This is cool. We're underground, a little bit humid. I should have the dehumidifier going on in here, but I don't, so it is what it is. Never freezes down here, and it's currently so it stays nice and cool down here. Main thing is this is where I keep all my root vegetables in the winter. But I really want one of these attached to the house, so I think I'm gonna work on that. This one needs a little bit more work, needs some ventilation, but. It's a project, you know how it is. Everything is, you know, I didn't really know much when I was building this root cellar. So like, it's all a learning experience for me. I've never done this. I've never built one of these. I'm not a professional, but we are underground. It's kind of neat. All right. So we got what we came for, some Tabasco, and have some walleye that I caught from the river, and some rice with some fresh greens from the greenhouse. Let's get out of here. Uh, success. It's really not that bad. I mean, Ideally, I want it beside the, excuse me. Ideally, 
I want it beside the beside my house. So I'm, we're gonna change that up. This garden over here, the potatoes, yeah, they did great. Got some lettuce over there. But there is definitely flowers growing and whatnot. Onions, well that's garlic, that's all kind of been picked through. <laughs> Onions, they got ran over pretty bad. Damn. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this system. I think when Steve comes over to do the treehouse Airbnb, I'm gonna get him to move some of that clay over and we're gonna clay pack this river. Get the waterfall going. Get this project done and cleaned up. You know what I mean? I've been working, I don't know if I showed you in the last video, but I ended up getting the barbecue back here on the pad with the smoker, right? So it kind of has this really nice canopy some party lights or whatever. Got a bunch of lights, LED lights hanging up in here. They're all solar, but they usually light up and dance around. This is my grill I made. It's kind of neat. Cook some burgers on there, put the buns on here. I designed a custom flipper. This is actually stainless steel. It would clean up if I cleaned it, but flipping burgers, big old chain. Comes apart as well. So this comes off and then this comes off if I'm having a really big fire. So little update there. Hey Cash. Guys, check the deck out. I've been working quite a bit around the homestead as well. So I hope you don't mind a couple extra minutes. Got the trim put on the deck. I've got some stones put here, guys. Rusty, what are you talking about, bud? He likes that idea. He likes this. You know, decluttered, opens it up. Hey, Cash. Still needs work yet. It's like everything, nothing gets done around here, but it does, I promise you, it does. I just decided to do some big projects in a year, like the fencing, you know? This is gonna be a crazy build. We're not even gonna, we're just gonna put that right on the back burner. Don't even look at it, guys. Don't even ask me what this is. This gas burner into this table. I got this for free. I bought this for $70. I haven't paid for it yet, so. Wouldn't be surprised if I start seeing him coming on my home security. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Back to the bees. I wanna just have one last look at them. They, it's so hot out, guys. The bees are just going nuts. They are hanging out. That is so cool. The smell. When the bees are like fanning their honey on hot days, there's this odor and it's just incredible. Check this out. This is crazy. There's so much bee activity, they're actually wearing down the wood. Look at that. These, the hives get super hot on these hot days. Over 100 degrees in those hives. That many insects, there's a lot of friction, a lot of body movements, a lot of energy. Super hot, okay? That's how they can survive them all the way through winter. You know what I mean? They get in this thing called a mantle and there's an outer mantle and there's an inner mantle and the queen, she's in the center. And they're all just staying warm. 
amazing. Minus 40 out here. You guys are gonna like, if you guys hang around the channel, you're gonna see the temps. It's extremely hot, but it gets extremely cold. So this swarm's looking pretty good. They're fanning out over here. Oh yeah, these guys are going out pretty heavy too. Still draw, drawing in some nice pollen, but she's having a hard time making her way in there. That hive's so, so hot. All right. I don't want to bore you guys too long, but I hope everybody's having a great day. All right. We're chilling out here. Things are going good. The sun is looking nice. Lady. Beauty. Didn't even look at me, acting kind of pissy. <laughs> just kidding. They're just chilling out there, swatting mosquitoes. I did put Ultra Guard on them yesterday, so that stuff really works well. And I had a really good experience putting the Ultra Guard, blah, putting the Ultra Guard on the cloth with the plastic glove. Lady actually let me put it under her belly in the back area under her legs and her rear legs and stuff so I was really happy about that I hope everybody's having a great day peace